This is awesome. Bring something different. It's the same reason I want the playoff to change. There's nothing wrong with the 14 format, but I want to see something new. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. You may be sitting there asking, yo, Matt, what's the reason behind it? Why do they want to add these 22 teams? To all my Big Ten fans, I want you to understand this. I'm not hating on your conference. I'm just telling you the facts. Some of your best teams in your conference would be some of the worst teams in the SEC. You know what they say, college football never sleeps. Do they actually say that or did I just make that up in my head? Yeah, I don't think nobody says it. But anyways, that's besides the point. We have breaking news to talk about. The Big Ten is adding more teams. They have made it extremely clear they're not stopping with USC and UCLA. They want more. And I don't mean one or two more teams. It's being rumored they want up to 22 members. And a very close source to the Big Ten has also stated, quote unquote, the Big Ten isn't close to being done. And that is scary. I said this in yesterday's video, as most of you know. If you didn't go see yesterday's video, go check it out. But we talked about Clemson and Florida State potentially joining the SEC anytime soon. I mean, the way things are going in college football right now, there could be an insane announcement that nobody's heard about in an hour or two. Think about it. Who in their right mind even heard or was talking about USC joining the Big Ten? You have to understand this. Nothing is off the table at this point. We have a lot of stuff to talk about and go over in this video. And one main issue the Big Ten is facing right now is they don't want USC and UCLA to be the only teams they have out west. You may be sitting there asking, yo Matt, why do they need more teams out west? Well, the Big Ten has made it clear they don't want those to be the only two teams out there because they don't want them to travel so far for every single in-conference game. It makes a ton of sense, it really does, but real quick before we get into this video, I think a lot of you watching this video, you like college football, right? I'm not going to assume you like college football, but if you do and you're not subscribed, I think you'd really enjoy this channel, so consider subscribing to the channel helping us out and if you are subscribed i appreciate you and now without further ado let's get into it <laughs> i got i'm sorry i gotta start this video out with another video clip i'm gonna show you because it's how i feel about the big 10. most of y'all know if you've been watching the channel or you've seen some videos here and there I think the Big Ten is overrated. The only team in the Big Ten that I think is great and they're up there with the big dogs is Ohio State. Nobody else. Michigan's overrated, Wisconsin. And I remember last year I was telling everybody, Michigan State, yeah, they're undefeated, but when they play a good team, they're going to get mopped. I believe Michigan State was even in the top 10. Wasn't they even in the top five? And then Ohio State drum rolled them, was beating them 49 nothing at half. Anybody with any football knowledge whatsoever can tell the Big Ten's not that good. Think about it. You take Ohio State out of the Big Ten, who they got? And I already know somebody's about to say, well, Matt, Michigan beat Ohio State last year. Yeah, that was one year. The past 10 years, Ohio State's mopped them. I'm getting off topic. I'm not here to bash the Big Ten, but check out what Colin Cowherd said. Some of you Big Ten fans. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, there's so many college football powers in the Big Ten. You know, Maryland and Rutgers and Illinois and Indiana and Iowa and Nebraska and Minnesota and Purdue and Michigan State. And take out Ohio State and USC and UCLA can match up with anybody tomorrow and beat anybody tomorrow. Doesn't mean they will, but they can. By the way, what's up with Harbaugh's recruiting in Michigan? they in the tank this year. SEC is different. That's why Texas and Oklahoma is going to be a shock to the system. LSU is an NFL factory. Georgia is an NFL factory. Alabama is an NFL factory. Texas A&M has become an NFL factory. Kentucky football is now a pain in the butt to face. Auburn and Florida. Ole Miss with Lane Kiffin. These are really, really loaded programs. Really good coaches. Take out Ohio State. USC, UCLA matchup with everybody. Oh, the travel schedule is not that daunting. How many roadies are you going to play a year? Five? USC, UCLA will play their typical cupcake home schedules out of conference, and they'll go on the road for five games, six games. Oh, the weather. Honestly, folks, September, October, all the way until November 20th. What, do you have blizzards all over the place? Not really. I mean, it'll get slushy and ugly late November. Some years, you'll have already wrapped up your road schedule. Bruins, Trojans will be just fine. I know, I know. <laughs> the thought, the thought of having to go to Bloomington 
West Lafayette is chilling. They'll be fine. Oh man, I couldn't have said it any better myself, and that's why I showed you the video. And I don't love calling Cowherd because I think me and him are both smart. I love him because I think me and him both have common sense. It's not just me, and he even stated it. That's why as SEC fans, when one of our teams goes eight and four or seven and five, we feel like they could go ten and two or eleven and one in the Big Ten or a different conference. It's like that because just like Colin said, and he's not even an SEC fan. The SEC has powerhouses. Not a singular powerhouse in Ohio State, but multiple ones. Georgia, Alabama, LSU. And yeah, LSU had a bad year last year, but they won a championship not too long ago and they're not going to stay down long. Florida will one day eventually get back. And like he said, even Kentucky, they're a pain in the butt. Who else am I missing? Arkansas. I like that program. They're on the rise. Ole Miss with Lane Kiffin. They're doing unthinkable things. And oh yeah, guess what? Can't forget to mention this. We got Jimbo Fisher. I don't really like him, but A&M, they're a powerhouse. NFL powerhouse, at least. You got Texas. Big bad Texas. Big bad Texas, my bad. They're coming in, and also Oklahoma. Look at what the SEC is. It's common knowledge. A team that goes 8-4 and four in the SEC, they're probably winning 10 games anywhere else. If you disagree with that statement, you know nothing. Nothing about football and you're a bozo. Let me put it to you this way, just like Colin said, and I'm going to go on his points. USC, they're not even going to be scared walking into the Big Ten. They're going to fit in just fine. I'd expect them to immediately be competing for conference championships and winning 10 games a year. But the conversation would be completely different if USC was joining the SEC. There is a big, and I mean a big difference from playing Alabama, Georgia, Texas A&M, Texas, Oklahoma every single year, and even LSU if they get good, from playing Indiana, Rutgers, Northwestern, Nebraska, Michigan State. To all my Big Ten fans, I want you to understand this. I'm not hating on your conference. I'm just telling you the facts. I want you to think about this and just let it sink in. Some of your best teams in your conference would be some of the worst teams in the SEC. I guarantee you, if Michigan State was in the SEC last year, they'd go 7-5, and five, maybe 6-6. Six and six. They wouldn't have won 8 games. There's not a chance in the world. Moving along with our video, let's talk about the new teams that the Big Ten potentially wants. Originally, remember, it's already been stated, and more than likely, this is... 99% going to happen that Oregon and Washington, they're joining. But now it's coming out and being stated that they also want to add Cal, Stanford, Utah, and Colorado. It's also been stated by a source, quote unquote, the Big 10 isn't close to being done. And it's also being stated that if everything goes according to plan, the conference could have up to 22 members. Theoretically speaking, that means they would be the first mega conference in all college football. I have mixed feelings about it. I don't think it's going to be a disaster, but I don't think... Just because you add a lot of teams, it makes your conference better. I believe in quality over quantity. I don't want the SEC as an SEC fan to add a bunch of random schools. I want elite programs. For example, Texas and Oklahoma, I'm all here for it. Bring them on. Clemson and Florida State, yeah, maybe Florida State's not too hot, but they're in the Southeast and they're a, or used to be a top-tier program. I don't mind that. But I don't want the SEC to add these not so great programs like Pittsburgh and some other schools out of the ACC. The ACC as a unit, they suck. Just give us some of the blue bloods like Miami, Florida State, and Clemson, and I'll be happy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. You may be sitting there asking, yo, Matt, what's the reason behind it? Why do they want to add these 22 teams? Or not add these 22 teams, but get up to 22 teams. Well, my friend, I'm glad you asked that question because you see... We have a big problem, or the Big Ten does. Like I stated earlier in this video, they have a location problem. It wouldn't really make sense to just have two teams out west because you don't want them traveling 2,000 miles for every single road game that is in conference. That's just insane, and there's no reason for it. So the Big Ten, they want more teams out west to balance it out, which does make a lot of sense. And... It almost has to happen because you knew they're not just going to pick up two teams out west. Let me know what you think about that down below. I agree with the Big Ten on that. You got to add more schools out west. Even though I believe that there's a lot of people that aren't too happy about what's going on. This person stated, to be clear, a super Big Ten and a super SEC almost exclusively paying themselves and then matching up their top teams to play for a national title is not college football. It's a sad NFL ripoff. And national media seemingly excited by the idea of that never loved this sport. Guys, I hate to say this, I really do. I hope some of you out there aren't as stupid as this guy. This statement that he put out there, and apparently people agree with it because it got over 1,500 likes, 
It couldn't be any more wrong. That statement was so bad, and matter of fact, I had to go to this guy's profile to get some clarity as to why he thinks that. And of course, to no shock at all, he's a UCF fan. When I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, that's why it makes a ton of sense. He goes for UCF. Anybody and everybody that is a fan of a big time powerhouse that is going to the Big Ten or SEC, we're all here for it. It's great for the sport. You know why this is great for the sport? Because we need change. There's nothing wrong with the way it is right now, but that's how life is. You gotta adapt and you gotta change stuff. People are gonna get bored. Anytime somebody invents something that changes the world, people frown upon it at first because they're not used to it. Look at Elon Musk, electric cars. Everybody joked on him at the beginning and now he's getting praised for it. There's many examples of that, but I am curious. If you don't like it, let me know in the comment section. I think it's great for the sport for multiple reasons, but here's my main one. I'm tired of all these teams playing in weak conferences and getting a cakewalk to the championship game just to get blown out. I'm tired of seeing Clemson dominate the ACC because they have no competition. I'm tired of the Pac-12 being weak. I want to stay up till 2 a.m. watching college football, but the Pac-12 has been so bad, I can't. I'm tired of Ohio State only being the good team in the Big Ten, and I'm tired of the Big 12 only being one or two good teams every single year, and the same thing for the SEC. So why not combine a bunch of these teams, put them in the same conference so they actually have to battle to get to the championship? This is good for the sport, and if you disagree, then don't watch. Oh, wait a minute, that's right, you will be watching the games because you will be entertained. You just don't know it quite yet. We as fans, and I'm talking about me and you, because more than likely you watching this, you really like college football. We love this for the sport. This is great. It gives us some excitement. Normally in the offseason, we have nothing to talk about. This is awesome. Bring something different. It's the same reason I want the playoff to change. There's nothing wrong with the 14 format, but I want to see something new. I could go on and on for hours about change. It is a must, but I am curious. Let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about down below. But don't worry,